Your top story tonight comes from our state capitol. A bill that's clear the state senate could dramatically change policing in our state, along with how many people end up in jail. Senate Bill 273 is a controversial piece of legislation. It's sponsored by a Democratic state senator representing parts of El Paso County. And Colette Bordelon is live for us tonight to break it down. And Colette, this bill does not have the support of local law enforcement. No, it does not. And here are the two big parts of the bill, Elizabeth. So it would limit cash bond for low-level offenses, unless, of course, someone's a threat to public safety or a flight risk. And instead of making arrests for certain crimes, a summons would be issued. Now, law enforcement all the way from Monument to Fountain does not want to see this legislation become law. We have become... Um, addicted to incarceration. That's the thought process behind a Senate bill working its way through the House, which would limit cash bond. Too many people are being held in jail because they don't have the money to pay the bond. And change the way low-level offenses are handled. A summons instead of an arrest in most cases. What we have seen in Colorado is a dramatic increase in our jail population. Senate Bill 273, being called pretrial reform, says more than half of arrests in Colorado are for low-level, nonviolent offenses. It goes on to say black people are arrested at a rate eight times higher than white people and are arrested for drug possession at a rate 12 times higher than white people and represent about 15% of people in jails, but only make up 5% of the population. There is significant law enforcement opposition to this bill because, quite frankly, we are attempting to limit their discretion. Several local law enforcement agencies wrote a letter against the bill, saying it shows criminals' accountability is optional and leaves victims on the sidelines. They say it will not reduce crime, and they believe the public should know some crimes included under this bill are animal cruelty, abuse of a corpse, and property crimes like theft up to two grand. Other charges it could apply to would be things like traffic offenses or petty drug crimes. The bill permits an arrest for empty any, any alleged offense. You just need to get a warrant. Supporters say it's about changing the relationship between police and the public. It isn't a jail space problem as much as presumptively innocent people shouldn't be held in jail while awaiting trial. While local opponents are saying it makes no sense from a public safety perspective. Law enforcement does not like this bill no matter what it entails. That letter of opposition was signed by the Colorado Springs Department, Fountain Police, Monument Police, the 4th Judicial District, the Colorado Springs Mayor's Office, and El Paso County Sheriff's Office. Now, State Senator Lee does expect some opposition to this bill in the House as it goes through that process. Remember, there's only 10 days left in this legislative session before they adjourn. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado. Colette Bordelon, News 5. Let's